Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn uh, how to generate the scripts uh, to disable all the foreign key constraints uh, in SQL Server database. Uh, there could be different scenarios uh, where you have to come up with these uh, scripts. Uh, so think about uh, one time load uh, your ETL team is doing. Uh, may maybe they want to load uh, or update or insert or delete the records, uh, but they do not care uh, about the data validation. They ask you, hey, can you provide us uh, uh, script to disable all the foreign key constraints and we can go ahead and uh, load our data so that's where you will be creating the scripts for them uh, so first of all uh, we will be finding uh, all the foreign key constraints uh, i'm going to use the sys dot uh, foreign keys uh, view to get this information um, so i'm using some functions such as schema name to get the schema name from schema id i'm using object name uh, uh, and if i will provide the object id it will give me the object uh, name uh, and uh, uh, these columns are coming from sys dot foreign keys uh, and then I use the case statement and said that okay so when uh, is this table is one then mean uh, no and uh, else uh, yes and as uh, enabled so this will uh, give me if uh, the constraints uh, foreign key constraints are enabled or disabled so this give me enough information just uh, I can take a look okay how many foreign key constraints I have it which one are enabled which one are disabled so you see that I have schema name I have table name on which the foreign key constraints are created I have the name of the foreign key constraints and then I have the status is enabled or not in my case they are uh, enabled there are only two and they are enabled fine now the same uh, system view I can use to disable uh, to sorry to generate the scripts uh, to disable foreign key constraints uh, I know that uh, if I need to disable any foreign key constraint I have to say alter table and then provide the table name my test table whatever and then say uh, no check constraint and constraint name so that's what I need to do I can generate this uh, entire uh, uh, script by using uh, the select query I can select uh, some information such as I need uh, the schema name so I can get from here concatenate uh, with the table name and then uh, I can uh, just hard code uh, these values or just uh, static values add these alter table and uh, also I can get the constraint name from the column so you see that I have this value here and uh, I can concatenate so I can use the plus sign and uh, some static uh, 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 keywords I can use here in the select statement to build uh, my uh, disable uh, foreign key constraint uh, uh, scripts uh, so here where this is, is disabled is equal to zero so I'm only generating the scripts uh, for the foreign keys uh, which are enabled uh, so if I run this one you see that it is generating uh, me the scripts uh, to disable the foreign key constraints uh, so you see that I have alter table then I use the schema then I use the object name that's uh, gonna give me the table name I'm concatenating them uh, by plus sign and also using the parentheses around it because there could be possibility my schema name or table name would have uh, space in them so I, I, I'm making sure uh, those are taken care of with the parentheses then I say no check uh, uh, constraint so that's the uh, keywords I have to use and then I finally have to provide the constraint name and this is returning me as a query so maybe in this case I have only two constraint fine I can write it by myself let's say you have 50 of them it will take you forever to generate these uh, disable uh, foreign key constraint scripts so by by with this uh, simple select query they will be really quick and uh, you are good to go in just two minutes uh, so now if I will say alter table this is a uh, schema name table name no check constraint and then a foreign key constraint name this is going to disable so let's go ahead and execute they are disabled and now if we run uh, this select statement uh, you will see that uh, we got the information schema name table name constraint name and uh, the status is, uh, is enabled no because we have disabled them by using a uh, this these uh, alter statements so, so thanks very much for watching this video and i hope uh, uh, this uh, small trick will help you to generate uh, how to disable the foreign key constraint uh, uh, in uh, all the database uh, uh, in a database so for all the tables so you can use that one i will put the link in the description so can you can you can just click there and it will take you to the post where you can copy and paste these scripts so thanks and i will see you guys in the next video